Happy Christmas! And that was done quite quietly because I had people sleeping in the next room. So I do apologise, but my Christmas was heartfelt, it really was. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Modern Warfare 3 video. Today I am going to be showing you some 52 and 13 domination from AdSid93. His channel link will be in the description as well as all the information you may or may not need, I don't know, you know, uh, to also give me your gameplay to use on my channel. But Christmas has come and gone, it is the 26th here now, I had a very fun day yesterday. Didn't upload anything because I wasn't around a lot and... Uh, I don't really think that anyone was, so no one would have seen it, so, you know. But I got a lot of shit to talk about today. Uh, it was a very good Christmas, I got a ton of gaming stuff uh, that you guys will probably be seeing in the near future. And I'm looking this year, or next year technically, but uh, in the near future to upgrade a lot of my gaming and electronic stuff in general. So I'm looking to get an HD TV so that I can get an HD PVR because I looked at it and I actually can't plug an HD PVR into my TV at the current time because it's so shit. It doesn't even have HD, uh, those little coloured cable things that you plug them into. So I'm looking to do that. But the first order of business is actually the fact that I need a new laptop. If you follow me on Twitter, you will see that I complain about my dying little netbook a fair bit, and right now it has completely and utterly... it's just bit in the dust. The keyboard doesn't work, the webcam doesn't work, the mic jack doesn't work. I'm using a USB mic, so the proper mic jack is a circle. That doesn't work. The keys are either sticking too much so that I can't type, or they're falling off, and it's just... Well, I think I'll pop a couple of you out to see if the problem is um, with that, but I popped three of them out. I still have them, but I can't pop them back in, and I didn't fix the problem. And then I went slightly batshit crazy and popped a key out on my wireless keyboard, which wasn't the problem at all, and I do apologise. But you know you can't have everything. And it, it just made me really, really... Why are you doing this to me? Why does technology never work? I know I've dropped you a couple of times, but please, get over it. So yeah, I um, my netbook doesn't really work and I need a new one. Though I'm probably going to get a proper laptop this time so that I can record on it if needs must and I can do all kinds of fun shit. And I actually tried to plug my mic into my desktop because as you know my desktop is kind of um self-deficient as well. It hasn't got internet on it which means that to give you this video, I'm pretty sure that I have to plug uh, a dongle, which is portable but super slow internet, into my PC, my desktop, so that I can upload a video, which will be the uploading times of old, like 220 minutes or something, so that that can get to you guys. And I tried to plug my mic into there, and it picked it up because I could actually hear myself feedback through my own headset and speakers and everything, which was quite... um disconcerting, I'm not going to lie, but apparently it didn't want to play. It didn't want to actually pick up the audio when I gave it to it, so I've had to plug my mic back into my little netbook in the hope, the vain hope, that this will actually record, and because I have nothing, I have no option of using my keyboard, my wireless keyboard, or the on-screen keyboard, I'm going to have to turn on the voice recognition and just say, call it like A1 or something, because that is about as far as the voice recognition can actually recognise my voice. That is as far as its intelligence goes. So, and it has to happen, like, on the day where all the shops are shut, I can't actually get a replacement, and it sucks, basically, so fuck. <laughs> but yeah, it's finally bit the dust, but it's Christmas time, so I really can't, you know, fault it. It's lived a good life. I've had it for like four years, so I don't really uh, treat it that well either, so I can understand where it's coming from. And my PC, I've actually uh, kept alive a couple of times by rebuilding it, um, you know, shoving electronic bits in and out of it, which lol, and uh, I don't think I can do it with this one. I've kind of lost those skills because that was my old desktop that I kept alive and the one I got now really hasn't had a problem other than sometimes it doesn't want to turn on so I have to restart it at the wall. Why does technology not work? <laughs> Why? Yeah. But I have a lot of other things to talk about as well so let's move on from the moaning. Um, I would like to say a quick thank you uh, for all the support that you guys have shown me on the last three Modern Warfare 3 videos. You will, have, you will know what they are and 
I'm not going to do any more of them because I'm sure that, you know, sympathy is good and everything. Having a good talk is fine, but there does come a point when you just say, yeah, uh, you've done it now, so let's move on. And I'm going to do that. Um, but I was uh, actually <laughs> some funny shit about the funeral. Uh, it doesn't technically go together with each other, but this isn't going to be a sad video at all. So let's just get that out of the way. But the funeral had a real happy feel. It was more about celebrating her life than anything else, and I really, really enjoyed that. And at the wake afterwards, I got extremely drunk. Um, it's how I deal, I guess. And I managed to waylay this flower arranging lady. After all of the uh, people had gone home, Mum left me there uh, to drive an ex-boyfriend who came back or whatever, or he drove her. He's really, actually, quite sweet. And I got into this conversation with the flower arranging lady and I was absolutely hammered. We discussed religion, we discussed gay people, we discussed a lot of shit that I actually can't remember. She was German, her name was Chenny. And at one point I decided that it would be a fantastic idea to pick up a part of the stem that she was clipping and eat it. I don't know what must have been going through her mind, but it can't have been anything sane because I was just standing in front of her just eating this plant with a happy look on my face. I really, really shouldn't be allowed out when I'm drunk. I should be locked in a small dark room where I can't do any damage to anyone's reputation at all. <laughs> But it was pretty funny. It was it was really a really nice day in general, and you know, I liked that that feeling was around the funeral. That's that was really cool. But Christmas Day, it was really nice. Um, we had a huge Christmas dinner. We had sausages, ham, beans, broccoli, sprouts. I actually like sprouts. I must be the only teenager to request sprouts for Christmas. Potatoes, chicken, uh, a bit of fish. We had basically everything and we had custard and pie for afters, chocolate, we had a very big Christmas dinner and mum outdid herself, she really did, so the Christmas dinner left me feeling very happy. Uh, we watched Love Actually over dinner, I watched the first half of it and then I went upstairs once I'd finished dinner, um, I've seen it before and I don't know, yeah, I guess it's the movie, kind of movie I like, it's just... We watched Doctor Who after that. If you don't know, Doctor Who is a uh, English science fiction show. And it was basically... There were a couple of good moments, but it was basically an hour of the writing going, Women are the future of the human race, lols! For an entire hour. Uh, and I didn't really enjoy that. I mean, I enjoy the explosions, not looking at the explosions, because you're a cool guy, and girl power is just as much as the next guy, but I, um, an entire hour of it, and once again, the world being saved by love, specifically a mother's love, it's great and everything, but it's just, there's only so much of it that I can take before I feel slightly sick around the edges, and I start to go green. So, I'm not sure that it was a very well put together episode. But hey, I think saying of that, um, you know how when you a series is cancelled, it has a couple of movies after it to wrap them up? They're always shit, aren't they? I mean, you get the Stargate movies, you get the Farscape movies, I'm a, I'm a huge nerd if you hadn't noticed. Oh, we all are really, we're playing video games. Um... And Farscape particularly, this is an American science fiction show, and it was brilliant. The series was amazing. That was actually one of the jokey presents that I got. There was a bad guy in it named Scorpius. He's really cool. I really like him. And Mum got me a t-shirt with My Heart Belongs to Scorpio on it, custom made. And it probably sounds really, really sad for anyone listening, but it's, it's hilarious and cool, and I'll shut up now. But the movies were terrible. They were obviously written by different people, the characters weren't in character, and the fucking main character got married. And it's like, well, that ruins everything. That ruins the Slash, doesn't it? Uh, if you don't know what Slash is, go look it up, then come back and, uh, or if you do know what it is, post your opinion on it. <laughs> I know what your opinions are going to be, because most of you are guys, but it's just hilarious. I like Slash, I'm a girl, what can I say? But the gameplay is coming to an end. I've talked non-stop for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. It feels good. It feels good to be getting back into it. So, happy Christmas. One and all and everyone and there are 
three mince pies around the fire. I'm rambling now, but I've probably forgotten something. But happy Christmas, everyone. I really hope you had a good year, got everything you wanted. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then happy holidays. And it's a good time to be alive, I guess. I don't know why I said that, but thank you to uh, Luke for the gameplay. If you don't know, add City to Luke. He's the one who's doing the podcasts and the Road to Commander with me. We kind of like do everything together, as he most eloquently put in a commentary. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Peace. <laughs>